The Faculty of Food Science and Technology, FST, was formerly the Department of Biochemistry, Preservation and Processing of Agricultural Products, a department under the Faculty of Agronomy. In 1994, the department started to train the undergraduate program of preservation and processing of agricultural products, which is now known as post-harvest technology. In 2001, the FST was officially established with three departments, Department of Food Processing Technology, Department of Post-Harvest Technology, and Department of Biochemistry and Nutrition. Over 20 years of development, the faculty is currently divided into five departments with a total of 40 staff, 29 lecturers, 7 technicians and 4 assistants. The faculty has 6 associate professors, 15 doctors and 8 masters. All lecturers graduated from well-known overseas universities, such as universities in Belgium, Australia, France, Austria and Korea, etc. Over the past 20 years, we have been well conducting the mission of being a center to provide high quality human resources in the field of food science and technology for the society. To accomplish this mission properly, our curriculum has been strictly developed on the concept of outcome by education and improve annually. In addition, the expected learning outcome is a starting point of our program design process and developed closely by on the expectation and the needs of stakeholders. FST's training philosophy is learning by doing, which has been applied throughout its development. Therefore, the investment in modern facilities and equipment for training and scientific research is always a top priority of FST. Currently, the FST has nine practical rooms, six research laboratories, one food processing workshop, and one pilot plan, in which the Central Laboratory of Food Science and Technology has achieved ISO 17025-2017 standards for food quality and safety analysis. Aiming to teaching with the goal of learning with practice, improving teamwork skills, developing food products, the faculty is currently deploying a system with nine practice rooms meeting the needs of learning and researching of students and lecturers. This is the practical laboratory of food processing technology, which is well equipped for practicing the subjects of processing plant-based products, vegetables and beans, etc., and products of animal origin, meat and fish. The equipment includes homogenizers, equipment for seaming iron boxes, sterilization equipment and drying equipment, and so on. With such auxiliary equipment, students can freely choose the practical products that they wish to make. We are producing black garlic from fresh garlic. After cleaning, garlic is placed in trays, then garlic put into a fermentation cabinet at 70 degrees Celsius for 40 to 50 days. During this time, we regularly attend sample is required to check quality and uniformity of the product. After 50 days, a lot of the black garlic from the machine cool it down and pack the product. Along with theory and practical courses, students also have the opportunity to participate in scientific research activities at six research laboratories, namely 1. Laboratory of Biochemistry and Food Biotechnology. 2. Laboratory of Microbiology and Food Safety 3. Laboratory of Food Science and Nutrition 4. Laboratory of Food Processing 5. Laboratory of Post-Harvest Technology and 6. Central Laboratory of Food Science and Technology The Lab of Food Microbiology and Food Safety focuses on the research of students graduate students and some basic research by lecturers in two directions. 
Food Microbiology and Food Safety Biology Field. First room, Food Microbiology. This room is used for conducting experiments on isolating, selecting, researching and applying beneficial microorganisms in the formation of biological products and fermentation products. Second room, food safety room. This room is used for conducting experiments on analyzing the criteria microorganisms that commonly cause diseases through food, research on the antagonism or inhibition of probiotics, biological active compounds, beneficial microorganisms to the growth of pathogenic microorganisms. Hello everybody, my name is Tham and I'm a fourth year student at Vietnam National University of Agriculture. So as you know, Vietnam is a tropical country, so there are many typical fruits. Plum is a berry fruit containing sugar, organic acids, vitamins, and especially the red variety plum have a really beautiful red color. However, fresh fruit are harvested seasonally and short term. Therefore, plum wine is the chosen topic to research and development. To make wine, every step is important. Firstly, the raw materials are preliminarily processed, pressed, and mixed with an appropriate ratio. This propagation be conducted at 28 degrees Celsius during 24 hours in a shaker incubator. A wine fermentation has two distinct stages, primary and secondary fermentations. The primary fermentation is happened at 25 degrees Celsius for six days. The secondary fermentation is at 15 degrees Celsius within a month. A wine is stored for at least one to three months. After that, plum wine will be tested and evaluated before use. And that's all, thank you. So, 17025. 2017 Laboratory in 2019 Villas 1234 Up to now, 24 analysis criteria have been recognized with the Villas number 1234. The central laboratory performs two main tasks. Be in the in-depth research center for lecturers and students in the field of food science and technology and provides analysis services of food quality and food safety that meet ISO 17025-2017. Room 1, the sample preparation room is equipped with equipment to store and prepare samples such as refrigerators, drying cabinets, balance, millers and centrifuges. Besides, the laboratory is also equipped with a Soxlit system to analyze lipid content and KDAL system to analyze the protein content of the samples. All sample preparation activities such as preservation, weighing, centrifugation and solid phase extraction are carried out in the sample preparation room. Room 2 the laboratory has two HPLC systems with different detectors that can analyze trace substances such as sugar profile, amino acid profile, flavonoid compound and vitamin and analyze food safety criteria as mycotoxin and antibiotic residues. Two GC systems with four detectors to determine residues of pesticides, fatty acid and volatile organic compounds etc. with limit of quantitation of 1 ppb. Spectrometers to analyze compounds such as total polyphenol, chlorophyll and reducing sugar. When the Central Lab of Food Science and Technology has achieved the ISO standard uh, 17025 uh, 2017, we have a broad story of innovation. First of all, uh, students and the lecturer uh, up to date, the uh, scientific and technology as well, the validate uh, analytical procedure that uh, increase the, uh, the efficiency and productivity of our research team. Secondly, uh, the facility of the central lab are regularly maintained and uh, calibrate that uh, 
um, have the analytical result uh, to be achieved a high accuracy and reliability. And these are the main, uh, the, the, the premise uh, to uh, um, public our study in the past years journal in our field. Last but not least, based on the central lab, uh, we are more chance to have fun for our research. FST has a food processing workshop where food products are produced based on technological parameters obtaining from the research results of our students, lecturers and researchers. In addition, practical activities, internships and teaching on the structure and operating principles of food processing equipment are also implemented at these workshops. The food processing workshops currently consist of various equipment mainly used in the production of two food products groups. The products processed from meat and fish materials such as sausages, zò, cha, and the group of products made from cereals such as noodle and bread. The machines include a grinder, stuffing mixer, filler, sterilizer, dryer, powder mixer, noodle former, and steamer. Afterward, a vacuum packager is used for finalizing the product. Besides, some equipment for milk and dairy products processing, for example, centrifuge, tubular heat exchanger, and milk fat analyzers are also equipped in the workshops. I'm very excited when working at the workshop for food processing. I can do by myself a food product that I really love. It sauce it from pork meat or fish and macaroni. The manipulation and operation of the food processing equipment are very interesting and they are pretty attractive to me. Also, I've learned the, the designs and uh, operation principle of the food processing equipment previously in theoretical courses, but it's amazing to see, to touch, and to operate it by myself. To provide students with additional learning and scientific research resources, in addition to the Library and Information Center of VNUA, the faculty also has a document room with 150 books, specialized references, lectures, and about 1,700 graduation theses. Every year, the library is supplemented with about 400 graduation theses. In addition, the faculty also arranges a self-study room for students with a spacious area. There are standard fan, air conditioner, lighting systems, and fully necessary equipment such as chairs, tables, flip charts, document cabinets, and audio speakers for students to self-study, exchange, sport group discussion, and do projects. Moreover, in the period from 2020 to 2021, with Autonomous Higher Education Project, SAHEP, funded by the World Bank, the FSD will be given an additional area of more than 2,000 meters squared with more modern equipment, all of which will be used to improve the quality of teaching, learning, and scientific research of lecturers and students. Besides studying and researching activities, the Faculty of Food Science and Technology also has many extracurricular activities for students through the clubs established by the faculty's own students, such as the Research and Entrepreneurship Club, the English Club, and the UNI Club, etc. These clubs and activities encourage students to exchange meet, learning, and sharing the difficulties encountered during the learning process, thereby strongly promoting the study spirit of students and improving English skills. These are the products of student research projects. For example, we have black garlic from fresh garlic that gets fermented for 45 to 60 days. We have salary root and many other products in which we have the detox tea made from low temperatures dried fruit that can maintain a high level of vitamins and bioactive compound. This project has been signed with bio, Biotech Care. Another project we have here that we have researched is the free dried caterpillar fungus. The fungus contains cordycepine, 
a compound that can have have a multiple health benefits. According to recent studies, cordycepin also supports the COVID-19 treatment. It would be a waste if we don't get to see all the projects on a large scale. Acknowledging this, the faculties the, and the universities are doing their best to deliver all the project, all the research that students have done to businesses. Because studying always goes with practice, students of the Faculty of Food Science and Technology have highly successful startup projects like detox cold dry fruits, black garlics, types of sausages with zero additives and preservative. Especially the student startup group supervised by Dr. Huang Hai Ha, lecturer of the Department of Biochemistry and Food Biotechnology, has excellently won second place in the competition of Khởi nghiệp nông nghiệp và đổi mới sáng tạo năm 2020 with the project of improving and developing traditional products from rice natural active ingredients. As you know, rice products are very familiar with users and our country has a great rice industry. But mostly we sell raw products because the technology and processing equipment are limited. So we thought that this is a great opportunity to improve some traditional products from rice. We use the optimized growing process of rice to increase the amount of nutrients and biological active like lysine, vitamin B1 and B6, iron, calcium, uh, ferric acids, and especially is gamma amino butyric acids as known as GIBA, which help moderate the development of cancer cells, decrease blood pressures, increase metabolism in the brain, um, reduce stress, muscle tensions, and insomnia. Speaking of employment opportunities, VNUA Job Fair is an exciting event which is organized annually by our faculty and the university to form a connection between employers and our soon-to-be graduates. Here, many students have found suitable occupations that come with a stable income and social recognition. This is also a reason for the recent increase in the number of applicants for the Faculty of Food Science and Technology. Hi, my name is Nguyễn Ngọc Thảo, an alumni of the Faculty of Food Science and Technology in Vietnam National University of Agriculture. Today, I'm so honored to be here to talk about my impression about my faculty. First, I highly appreciate the quality of the curriculum, lectures, and facilities here. In addition, the university scholarship and student exchange program with overseas also bring me a great chance to experience the studying in other countries, such as in Korea, Singapore, and so forth. Furthermore, the faculty has a lot of student clubs including English club, research and entrepreneurship club, and UNI club, helping students to be more active and confident. After graduated, I have successfully passed the future leader program of the CP Group Thailand, and now in charge of product research and development in my company. Well, with valuable knowledge and skill during my studies here, I effectively apply to my current work and have a clear promotion opportunities in my company. Thank you. Devotion, synergy, quality, innovation. Faculty of Food Science has been a center for training high quality human resources and for scientific research and technology transfer. Meeting the needs of the society in the field of food science and technology, serving the country's social economic development and proactive international integration.